school is out for the summer in Kentucky, but for some young people, like 12-year-old Myla Ledger, what she learned and took part in over the pandemic-plagued school year may stay with her forever as she participated in the virtual statewide 4-H ukulele club. It was the idea of UK 4-H youth development specialist Jennifer Tackett. So I think music is such a wonderful way to bring about community and just to see these kids had kind of been isolated, you know, when we started um, to form these bonds and, and hopefully, you know, pick up a passion for playing music in the ukulele that'll carry them on. Tackett is a singer-songwriter herself, and within the first day of registration, 62 4-H'ers had expressed interest in joining the club, which ended up averaging about 40 at each meeting, including Myla. It has only increased her interest in music and the arts. My interest in art and everything, plus my ukulele and music and all these things, have made me interested in becoming a recreational therapist, uh, helping kids who have disabilities like me with my, with, um, my sight. Myla is legally blind. Her mother, Kim, says the ukulele club has been therapy for Myla. It was a great outlet uh, to express um, her uh, artistic and music abilities and learn um, during a time when nothing else was available. Myla also takes her musical talents from her maternal grandfather, who Myla says can pick up any string the instrument and play it. Through nine virtual meetings, Tackett taught 4 H'ers the basics of the ukulele, including the parts, how to properly hold the instrument, strumming and different chords, and by the end of the second meeting, 4 H'ers were playing. You are my sunshine. When you teach arts, it's really important to make them leave feeling like they've accomplished something and they feel good about themselves. And so we try to do that every, every time. Tackett hopes to assemble her ukulele club members at the Kentucky State Fair this August in Louisville for a concert on the 4-H Cloverville stage. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.